All right, guys, today I'm going to work on this Pro Snip made in USA drop forge. And uh, I'm going to take it apart. I keep this dog wrench, this bone, I call it a dog wrench, this bone wrench. I'm, I keep it on my toolbox on my bench up here. Most people don't use them. <laughs> they're, they're, they're a gimmick tool. But anyways, I'm going to clean these up, make it look nice. Don't need to be sharpened. They are sharp. So uh, let's see what it looks like on the wire wheel. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's the wire wheel and the fiber wheel. Look at the difference. And I did take the name off, and the name was not, I don't know why. All right, I'm going to use some wax, cleaner wax. And all I did was polish the scissor part of it, the working part, the, the blue and the uh, kind of little rust. I just kind of left it the way it was on the handle. I just, I don't know. I just thought, what the heck? My tools, my rules. I can do it the way I want. I didn't want to. I, didn't, I thought about repainting the handles and making them look like brand new, and I thought, nah. I want to see what they uh, how it turns out. Just leaving it. Sometimes you can go too far, doing too much. Don't need to. It's just it's a good used tool. Uh, I mean, it's, Somebody put it in the junk bin, dollar bin, thinking that it was, you know, wasn't a good tool. And I saw potential there. These little snips are uh, pretty handy. My wife uh, kind of likes them now, so I might wind up losing them. It's, uh, I like the small pair like this. This works. These are nice. And I... I might have 30 minutes in cleaning them, maybe. Maybe. The uh, wax will keep them, keep them nice. Let's see, dummy. There we go. Got to got to got to be smart enough to put it back together, right? Okay, that goes like that, so that goes all the way through, and that locks on that. Then you have the little lock washer, and all I, all I did was run that over the Dremel. You can tell it's a, uh, it's a lock nut with a lock washer. I was kind of impressed by that. Don't know what year these were made, but they're newer because they didn't have the stamp. They had the uh, 
they had the printed logo, which I'm not sure why. Hang on a second, a bit of sheet of paper because it was cutting a sheet of paper really easily and it's still cutting paper really easily. Oh, I like these. I don't know, my wife is not gonna get these. If she is not getting these. I don't care what she says. I might have to find her another pair. <laughs> I like these. A little bit old and new mixed here. And nothing super fancy. Pro snips. I'll tell you what, hang on a second. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I looked up online these pro snips on Amazon. They're not currently available. And another company I'd never heard of, some other tool, I can't remember the tool company, but they sell them for $20.99. And Irwin, I guess, bought out ProSnips or own ProSnip name, not sure. Anyways, I got, I think I paid $5 for all that junk I bought from the pawn shop. There was like, I don't know, 15, 17 items. So, you know, I got less less than a buck in these. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. It's worth looking in the dollar bin for junk and coming out with a really nice tool. And my wife's looking at these, but I think I'm gonna take them to work. I, I've got a large pair, but these are more handier. These I can carry in my pocket or in my small tool bag my tool pouch. Yeah, these are uh, excellent pair. And you can see I didn't do, I, I left a little rust on the paint. Uh, I didn't do anything to the handles. I just cleaned up the blade part of it, made them look good there. And that's just my preference. It's my tools, my rules. If you guys want an art piece or a real, you know, make it look brand new, do what you want to do. But these are going to be a user tool. These are gonna be used probably a couple times a week. I can see cutting uh, low voltage wire with these. Uh, it'll cut, it should cut 26 gauge steel or uh, 29 gauge tin pretty easily. And I do deal with a lot of that. And uh, cutting paper, heck, it's a good pair of scissors if anything. It actually cuts paper really well. So, ladies and gentlemen, there you go. Less than a dollar. Might figure, I don't know, 50, 60 cents, 40 cents, something like that. If you figure all the items together, uh, you know, the way I looked at it is that when I bought, I bought all that stuff from the pawn shop, the S-Twing hammer was $5 and the rest of it was free. Uh, that's how I look at it. And look at that, man, that thing, there is no wear on that at all. It is just in such good shape. They, they never, if they used them, they used them properly. You know, some people you'll, will use tools for non uh, purpose. They don't use them correctly. And this one looks like it was used just by the looks of the handle. And I left it, the, I left it that way. It's, you know, when you look at this, you're gonna, people will probably wonder, well, why, why does it look so nice and then look so bad on the other half? But it's a user tool, that's all this is. And uh, tools for me make me money or save me money and this is gonna help me make money at work. I'm gonna take this to work. I've got uh, a use for this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Tell me what you think. Hope you guys are finding stuff out there. Uh, I know this part of the country, garage sales are not going on or estate sales are kind of far and few between, but uh, the pawn shops, thrift stores, uh, just look around, you'd be surprised. Facebook Marketplace here lately has had some really good buys on there too. That's another place. Keep an eye out for these tools. You'd be surprised what you can find. Do a little bartering. 
You remember what I said, you know, poor boy makes money by saving it first. It's the easiest way to make money is by saving it. If it's in your pocket, you're not spending it. And, uh, you know, if you can save, like I said, this, I saw these for 20 bucks and I got less than 50 cents in it. Just my little bit of time. So, there you go. Not much effort, not much work. Good tools, good tools, use tools. So, look them up, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all have a good day.